a good example of how hard he hits the cricket ball. It struck Murli Dharan. And he nearly took his hand with uh, the ball to the boundary. It was hit so hard. Put away in style. Very, very good on loose deliveries. That's what makes him a good player, Rahul Dravid. Plays away the good deliveries and every time he gets an opportunity, he makes full use of that. He's got five fielders on the offside and bowls a loose full toss around leg stump. Vilhara Fernando will be the bowler. Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the batsman, on 99. That will be his 100. Fantastic 100. Coming with just 85 deliveries. The quickest 100 by an Indian against Sri Lanka. And coming at a very important time. Chasing a big target. This young man is stood up. A hug and a word of advice uh, from the captain. He obviously wants him to go on. Hasn't worked up much of a sweat getting this 100 because he's hit uh, so many to the ropes and over the ropes. 10 fours and five sixes in the 100. Take it. Yeah. Like that one. Tried to play it onto the onside. Rahul Dravid is gone. Murli Tharan has come back and he's made the important breakthrough. Yes, they've got a small window here and they'll certainly look to exploit this in a situation where things look very, very gloomy. Murli Dharan, he's struck. He's the man the Sri Lankans are, have yeah. always been relying to pick up a wicket. A nice flight of delivery. Dravid looking to push at it. The ball really not coming on. A little softish and Dravid goes. India, three down for 185. Bit of field adjustment. The long off has now become long on. So the straight field long off is free it's a free hit there for dhoni that's where he likes it but he's gone the long on and there's a fielder getting under it the ball has sailed right over him into the crowd take that for confidence there is a long on but look at this this is the sixth six for mahindra singh dhoni no half measures for this man there was a man placed down at long on deep at that and he just took the challenge he was quite prepared to take that field on and the ball sailed over him that's a big hit enormous amount of confidence there in that shot he took on the fielder and the bowler for more down the leg side trying to york Dhoni, but that's the problem there is no margin of error down the leg side got a little bat onto it there's no fine leg or third man that was four the moment it touched the bat no margin whatsoever as you would see Striving for that Yorker, but um, ball straying down leg side, going full, Dhoni getting some bat. And as soon as you get bat on that, you're in business for more runs. He's found the gap, slightly short, rocked onto his back foot. He's got four more, Dhoni. Oh, this pitch certainly is unforgiving. The 200's up. And uh, that was just a trifle short, certainly a very good delivery to any ordinary batsman, a batsman who's not in form, not in, but Dhoni, he was so quick onto the back foot and hammered it away through the offside, just taking it off, outside off stump. By Billy Bowden, wanting to have a word with Dhoni. I wonder what that is all about, running on the field, <laughs> running on the wicket. I suspect that's what it is. Or he could be asking for a runner, yes. He's been stretching a bit for quite a while once he sort of overextended himself. He's gone the straight field. There was no need to have fielders there either. He's hit the screen. That is the seventh six by Dhoni. So he equals the record of the highest number of sixes by an Indian. And Dhoni, he certainly is continuing in this way and despite that uh, hampered leg there's no need to have runners Ranjit when you can hit like that this is an absolutely amazing inning this is awesome hitting what power beautiful follow through the bat yes he's, he's struggling 
it's been like a 5x display rockets all around Sehwag has come in to run for Dhoni I think this was the time when he sort of split his legs much beyond those very taut and strong yeah. muscles would allow. That's when he actually started the problems for himself. He's bowled some good deliveries, but in between, uh, he's um, strayed. And all the Sri Lankan bowlers, in fact, have been that. They've uh, strayed, given away the boundary balls. That's four more. Again, poor line from Vass. And he pays the price for it. Second boundary of the over. And without any risk of being taken. And just as I said, there goes the bad delivery down leg side. Well put away by Yuvrat Singh. He goes for the big one. He's missed time this. But it's his day. Two runs taken and 150 to Mahendra Singh Dhoni. And they say fortune favours the brave. And it certainly has been a brave man today from India's point of view. What an effort. It's bowled in right through the defence of Yuvraj Singh. No clue whatsoever. Pitching on the middle stump, just straightening and rattling the stumps. Just played down the wrong line. Standard off break from uh, Dilshan. Mm. And uh, he pushed through the leg side with the bowlers around middle stump. And Dilshan is struck for Sri Lanka. Fourth wicket. Maybe late, but. Uh, Yuvraj Singh goes 18 of 24 deliveries and India now 250 for four. Gone over the top, the sound was good and the result even better. Well, the pressure was on, but Venugopal Rao, he was up to it, getting up to the pitch of that delivery, hitting it straight over the long on boundary for six. Again, very, very firmly struck. He was not going to be kept tied down. Good use of the feet, as you would say. He hit it in the air. And if you want to guess where it lands, outside the boundary ropes. Most sixes by an Indian batsman in a one-day international. And this man is pure magic. Oh, stand and deliver. Save. If one could say that uh, he just can't move his feet, that is no problem whatsoever. Stays at one place and slams it over the long off. He says you can't hit a six if you're not balanced. <laughs> Get the single Venugopal Rao. Tony on 169 has a great opportunity. To become the highest scorer in a one day international, that is by a wicket keeper. 172 by Adam Gilchrist versus Zimbabwe Hubar 2004. Still remains the highest score by a wicket keeper. It's just three shot. Man getting underneath it. But the ball clears the fence and he achieves a fantastic record. Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Becomes the highest run getter in a one-day international for a wicket keeper, and that takes him to 175. What sensational batting this is! Even the most ardent Sri Lankan supporter would acknowledge that uh, there's nothing very much you could do under these circumstances. Clean hitting, and that's once again six maximum for Dhoni. How do you reckon Dhoni will finish this off? Do you think he's got a six in his mind? Yes, he has a 